All right, the sun's gonna be a bad angle. Sorry, here we go. Come on, Littles! Oh my gosh. Oh, they can hear just fine. I am a lot louder than I thought I was. Look at the Littles, my gosh. Guys, are you all hungry? I got Littles everywhere. You guys can, those are some great ears. Those are some really nice ears y'all have. Easy, babies. Oh, man, you guys came running. How did y'all hear me? How did you hear me when I said that? Don't knock that over, please. How did you guys hear me? I'm shocked. Hey, watch it now, sir. Careful. Oh, no. Watch out, guys. Hey, baby, don't spill that in daddy's seat. Here. Oh, sheesh, sheesh. Sorry, Ringo. All right, y'all put that one right there. And I'll get over here. May I, Lenny? Annie? Maggie? Run, Maggie. Oh, no. Annie, leave her alone. Annie, get back in here. Annie! Annie Bananis! Annie! I have to get past you all to dump out your feed. Now, how am I gonna get past you all? Uh, Carl, listen, I don't completely trust Carl. I love you, Carl. Hey, that's... Despite, despite how cold Tex is, look, look at this. Look at this, the, the saliva come out of his mouth like uh, popsicles, like icicles. It's like, yet he stands here in the cold, and here's why. Because he looks right across at Moses. And Moses is all cozy down there, lying there in the nice soft grass, surrounded by three of his little female friends. Yet he's staring at Tex. He's just staring at him. It's a stare down. Whereas Tex sitting here freezing, icicles hanging from his from his nose. Poor guy. Yeah. It makes it yeah, it's extreme. And it's one of those extreme acts of nature that I think many of us have had to deal with. Well, I, I probably shouldn't say many of us have dealt with. I've never stood in the cold and stared at a woman while she's with her other man with icicles coming out of my nose. Maybe that was a bad analogy. But it is sad. It is sad. What is the most extreme... Burr. It's cold. What is the most extreme thing you've ever done in the name of love or lust or some kind of infatuation with a member of the opposite sex? Uh, move to Texas. <laughs> move to Texas. Put on boots and move to Texas. Take that back. You said extreme like that. Take it back. We are here at Sister Kim's house, and this is an example of how strong the wind is. Her snowmen, her inflatable snowmen, are whipping around. She has them all tied down there. And uh, I'm not one to normally complain about temperatures, but it is cold. When you when you're not in the wind, it's not near as cold. Oh, you're doing it wrong, babe. Oh, I didn't know. Now just go. Yeah, you don't have to wait for her to answer. So I have a question to ask you. Turn that TV off. I want to ask you a question. I want you to answer me, okay? Yes. Tell me the truth. Hmm. Who is your favorite uncle? You only have two uncles to choose from, Lester and Daniel. And who is your favorite? Lester. Thank you very much. Now, who is your favorite? Turn that TV off. Stop watching that for a minute. Don't look at the TV. Don't look at that TV. Don't look at that TV. Stop looking at that. I see. You're looking at the TV. That's, I'm going to have to give you one. You like that? You like my beard? You like my beard across your face? The third one? I know that y'all have seen Kim's house a couple of times in some of the videos they put on the family dinners. But let me just show you how pretty her house is. And, and Kim's going to be upset because she has not done a clean up. But Kim has done the needed. Kim is so crafty. Kim just does stuff, y'all. She's 
she's so crafty with what she does around here. And I'm going to say this also. There is not a inch of space in this house. <laughs> I, I couldn't live this way. I, I could not live this way. I need space. I need space. I, I, saw, I see this as cluttery. But to a lot of folks, this is the way you think a house should look. And Kim has something everywhere. A lot of stuff she's built herself. Some stuff she's been sent and gifted. And then this here... Don't you go out that back door! Oh, why? No one's judging no, you. Don't go out that back no door. one's judging I'm you. Okay. Kim. All right. I'm just going to have a peek. No. Kim. I have to move my washing machine. No one is judging you. Okay. Behind this door, <laughs> behind the red curtain here, Kim has a secret room. All right. There's a secret room behind this curtain. There's a human being in there for sure. And you heard the way she freaked out when I wanted to walk out and show you. Come on over here. I'm going to teach you how to dance. Come here. No, no, stop doing it. No, stop it. Give me, let go of me. Let go of me. <laughs> now just hold my hand like this, and now I'll slowly go back and forth, and Jamie's going to sing. I've been sitting here. <laughs> I've been dancing. Trying to hide myself. Sing, Jamie. Mm -hmm. I have to remind no, myself. No, this is great. And I have to rewind myself. Oh. Looking for the payback. Where are you going? Is that the <laughs> it is a cold and windy day. And we have jobs to do. We got chores to do, Maggie. I need to know if you're going to be able to get up and help me or not. You going to be able to come out and help Dad? You going to make it? All right. That's what kind of help I get around here. That's That's my good help. It is so cold today that we're going to put the blankets on the horses for the overnight hours. I'm gonna let them up and we'll put them in their stalls and then we'll bring the blankets around. I know that'll, that has to make them feel a lot better. It's this wind chill. I bet you, I bet you if I were just to take a thermometer, it would probably be in the 30s, high 30s, maybe 40s. But I promise you, with this wind chill, I, I can guarantee you we're in the teens. It's just blistering cold, just blistering cold. And we're just lucky that there's that there's sun and it's a, not a cloudy, wet day. This is, it is, but it's cold, guys, it's miserably cold. I always feel embarrassed when I talk about how cold it is here. And then people from up north, where it really is cold, like in the teens, they're like, oh my God, y'all are acting like the world's coming to an end. And you're so cold, the world's coming to an end because Texas is in the teens. Texas hits the teens. And that's with wind chill. And that's with wind chill. And we're, Texas is in the teens with wind chill and we're all dying seriously we're dying uh, i exaggerate we guys we're not dying everyone's good but it is cold it is so cold when is the last time you've seen the animals walk to the barn seriously when is the last time you've seen the animals walk up to the barn uh dan is very upset because he doesn't get a stall Everybody else has found themselves a stall, and poor Dan doesn't get one. Dan, nor sheesh, it's frozen solid. This metal has frozen itself, Jamie. Huh? Sheesh. Look at this motley crew waiting to be fed. Oh, look at this motley crew. Yeah, see? Y'all treat me like dirt half the time until, oh, it's feed time, and now let's be nice to Dad. Let's all be nice to Dad since it's feed time. All right, everybody's been fed. Even though Danny Boy has got him some. Listen, I have put food in every trough, so there's no reason why they, anyone has to argue and fight, push and shove. 
I got some hungry ostriches and my swimming pool, which is what I used to feed the horses and cows in, has moved its way. It has blown all the way inside here with these guys. Uh, I love you, Carl, but I don't completely trust you. Remember all the times you hurt me? Literally, you hurt me so many times. Hey, poor Wanda's not getting in. Stop it, Debbie. Stop it, Debbie. You're getting all weird in my face. All right, guys. Excuse me for a excuse me for a moment. Everybody back up. Carl, back up. Everybody back up. I'm gonna pour the food out over here. Here. See, look, here. Here's where the food's gonna be poured out. Here we go. Here we go. Now I've got the pool out of here. Here we go. Lots of food. Look at all the food for y'all. So now I have poured some food out across the ground here. And Wanda and Carl are both inside this part of the barn eating. They have plenty of shelter from the, well, I, I would say from the elements, but the wind's blowing through here pretty good. And then uh, poor Wanda, I'm sorry, Debbie's on the wrong side. Debbie, you're on the wrong side, baby. Debbie's going to, De Debbie likes to play dumb. For some reason, dumb girls seem to turn Carl on. Carl likes the dumb girl type. Uh, yeah, Debbie's found her way in now, so all is good. All is good. And <laughs> look at all of them. Look at these three ostriches. What a happy family. All right, I know. You're a happy family too, baby. You're just going to have to be fed in there for a couple more days. Okay, for everyone who was wondering, Tina has now been fed. Tina has fresh water. Tina is fine. <laughs> You guys get down. Hey, look out, buddy. Mr. Huck move. I gotta go find Annie. Try to get her back home. Don't know where she would have went off to. Oh, these guys are fine. We gotta get Annie and Ernie back in here. Boy. Hey, get back into your yard. Go back. Get back into your yard. Maggie, you're messing everything up. I'll pack on the loose. Jamie, get them. Get them. Drive them back this way, Ellie. Ellie and Megan saved the day. Thank you. <laughs> there they are get back inside that yard I have already fed you all oh boy Annie and Ernie think this is the great oh no where are they going see Annie and Ernie is getting everyone riled up come on Back inside your yard. There's an open gate right there. Take it, Ernie. Take the open gate. Take it, Ernie. Good boy. Good. Turn. Turn, Annie. Turn. Yeah. They thought that that would be the funniest thing ever to get out and create all kinds of mayhem. And it almost worked. Oh, 
No! Hey! How did you guys get out? How did you guys get out of there? Trudy, 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 it's cold. Can I have the bucket? Trudy, baby, hand me the oatmeal. Jamie is getting all the horses and donkeys decked out for the cold night that's upcoming. <laughs> they look kind of silly. Uh, some of them wear them better than others. But what I'm concerned about is poor Voodoo. I am not going to be able to let this go. Voodoo doesn't realize how ridiculous he looks. Look how cool. Look how cool Bucky's come out. Bucky's has come out really cool, guys. And then you have to look over here at Voodoo. And he looks like a schoolgirl. He looks like a Catholic schoolgirl. And that's a little bit back back up how oh, i gotta look at you you look like a catholic schoolgirl, and that's just not very becoming of who's supposed to be our alpha male around here looking like a catholic schoolgirl. nothing against catholic school schoolgirl outfits just it's just not really one with uh, i'm just gonna leave that one alone i'm sorry working harder not smarter <laughs> Kidding. I am working smarter, not harder. Look at that, the wind has blown over my trash cans again. Uh, I am actually taking the side by side over and we're gonna feed the babies up here in the front and then I'll feed the pigs out back. I'm gonna try to draw these littles over here to me if they can hear me. They might not be able to hear me when I call because of the wind. Let me get over here first and then we'll see if they can hear. That'll be cute to find out if they'll be able to hear me or not. Seriously, they may not be able to hear a darn thing. They might not be able to hear a darn thing. We're going to get over here where we can see them. I don't know if I can scream that loud to scream over the wind. All right. Now I know you all can't see because of the sun. All right, the sun's gonna be a bad angle. Sorry, here we go. Come on, Littles! Oh my gosh. Oh, they can hear just fine. I am a lot louder than I thought I was. Look at the littles, my gosh. Guys, are you all hungry? I got littles everywhere. You guys can, those are some great ears. Those are some really nice ears y'all have. Easy babies. Oh man, you guys came a running.